literally the exact same time that this guy hit, the shark rod went off. Beautiful. All right, so we just got back from the dentist. Lexi got herself some new braces. We got a little extra time today, so would you like to catch a shark? Yeah. Yeah? All right, we're gonna go to Bite Me Bait Shack, and we're gonna catch a baby shark. Baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do. All right, we're at Bite Me Bait Shack. I think Chris is working, so let's go say what's up. Let's go. Chris. Chillin' man. Hey, you got some bonito? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah, I already got it. You already got it? Ah, oh, nice. Good girl. Hey, you ready to get some sharks? Yeah. All right, big shout out to Bite Me Bait Shack for the shirt. Yep. It's a beautiful day out there. Look at the water. It's perfect. Look at that out there. We're going to put the bonito in the water here. Just set him right there. Let him thaw out. Because he'll thaw quicker in this warmer water. And uh, make sure that stupid pelican doesn't come over here. But yeah, let them thaw out. I'm gonna throw, see if I can maybe get a barracuda or a jack that I can cut up right away with some fresh blood. I've got the Florida Fishing Products Osprey 5000 with the nice, I, I wanna say it's a 7-0 hook. And uh, yeah, we'll just throw a chunk of bait out there in the water and uh, wait, cause that's all you do. If a shark finds it, what's a shark gonna do? Eat it and then it's gonna hook onto the hook and then we can reel it. That's right, and then we can reel it in. Actually, you're gonna reel it in today. Yeah. Not gonna be me. Lexi's gonna catch her first shark. Let's go. While the bonito's um, thawing out, the I'm just gonna see if I can get on to a uh, pelican getaway. See if I can get on to like a small jack or something. Something I can just chop up real fast and put on the end of a hook. Might not even need the bonito. What are you doing? So right now, I'm just slicing a little chunk of this bonito off. Right here. Still frozen inside but once I throw it out there it's gonna thaw out pretty quick and uh, we'll start with a small piece until this thaws out a little bit more see if we can get a shark on look at that nice little yummy chunk Yeah. take my hook I got 80 pound braid I've got a nice little wire leader here put this right through the skin we'll go over here toss it out and then we sit back and wait All right, so basically I've got the rod here pinned between the rocks. So if something hits, this will come down. It should set the hook automatically. Fish will run, we grab the rod, and uh, Lexi will start fishing. Look at the new braces. E new braces. We've got our bait out in the water, right about 50 yards out over here. And uh, let's just see, see what happens. All right, so the rod just went off, but we were over there fishing. Good thing I spotted the rod. But uh, maybe something's playing with the bait? Yeah. That was really quick. Usually I have to wait like 20 minutes or so. This was really like three or four minutes and something already hit the bait. So the first chunk of meat got devoured. I'm gonna throw a bigger piece out there. See what happens. Let's do it again. Yeah. Yeah. So we were literally fishing. I just caught a jack. At the exact same time we got a jack, a shark hit the line real faster, real faster. Oh, he spit it. Ah, we're gonna have to do that again. All right, now we got fresh bait though. He was, he was on there. He had it in his mouth. He jumped a few times too. We got one hit, but it was simultaneously as when I was catching a jack over here, just throwing the, uh, the artificial. So we didn't actually get to get the hook set in. I had that drag loose because she's a beginner and I just wanted, you know, I wanted to show her the ropes. But we lost one shark. We just threw in some more bait to try and get, see if we can hook up on another one. I've got some extra bait now with the uh, Jack Revolve that I just caught. But uh, what do you think about shark fishing? Takes a while? Yeah, you need patience. Yeah, you definitely need patience. Got a small Jack Revolve on the soft shrimp lure. Got a little weight, about an eighth ounce. Just throwing in a little flat over there. Crushed it, but literally the exact same time that this guy hit, the shark rod went off, but I didn't explain to Lexi that, cause I had the drag loose, I didn't explain to her that she had to crank the drag down and then pull tight. 
the head of a Jack Cabal. She's trying to follow me. Oh, plop. So we came out here the other day, and I didn't catch a shark, and but I really want to catch my first shark, and I made my dad, my dad, me, take me out again to catch my shark. Catch your shark. Yeah. So what happened the other day is uh, we took her to go get her braces. Look at it. <laughs> so she got her braces. We got out early. So I said, okay, let's go see if we can get you on your first shark. So I brought her over here. It wasn't the best tide because it was incoming and we're really close to shore. Like if we're further out and we're doing incoming, it's fine. But this close to the shoreline um, in this particular spot, I usually prefer the outgoing tide. We got one hit. He spit the hook because of some crazy situation of me catching fish at the same time the, the shark rod went off. The other day, what happened was or what didn't happen is we didn't have any colada before we started fishing. So, you know, my tradition, along with Monster Mike fam, um, we drink colada before we start fishing for good luck. Oh, That's so delicious. If you guys are ever in Miami, ever in Miami, get yourself some colada just to try it out. It's like gasolina for your soul. There you go. See that? Good cast. Let it go down for a second. Now I'll start bringing it in. All right, so while Lexi's over there trying to catch some bait fish, I'm gonna re-rig the shark rod because this is not the hook that I wanna use over here. You did a perfect cast, good job. I'm gonna actually use these uh, Mustad 7-0s. Got some hard wire, got 80 pound. I don't want the shark to bite through, you know? And I'm not the most beautiful at uh, rigging these up. So I'm actually gonna link up with a buddy of mine, Ed Bellato from Island Life Fishing. And we're gonna do a full tutorial on how to set up the shark rig that I'm gonna do today. But like I said, my, my wire game is weak. All right guys, nice little snook. All right, so I'm trying to catch bait fish, trying to get a cooter or something, and these darn snook keep hitting my line. Right. I'm gonna let him go. Get the hook out. Nice. Now, whenever you hold the snook, you wanna support them from the under underneath, okay? Because you don't wanna hurt the insides. Whew, I'm out of breath. Oh, nice guy, I even got the fight on my phone. Best day ever, guys. Best day ever. Oh my God. Wow. I never expected this to happen. I'm just trying to get bait fish. Just trying to get bait fish. Look at this. Wow. All right. So when you guys, when you let these guys go, they'll bite down on your thumb. I'm not holding them. He's biting my thumb. So I'm just gonna keep putting water through the gills. And when he's ready, he'll spit off and he'll, he'll go. There he goes. Look at that. Oh. And he's gone. So, that's it. Another snook. That's my second one today. On accident. I'm not having any luck with uh, Jack or Vol or anything right now for bait. I mean, I literally caught snook on accident. I mean, it is the flick of the wrist and all, but uh, it's not what I'm targeting today. I need a shark for my daughter. Saw one mullet chilling. So I had to bust out the cast net, snag him. Yep, <laughs> thumbs up. There was a baby puffer over here somewhere. Think he's still around? There he is. Look at that guy's little puffer. Can't you put your phone in the Baby one? puffer. Oh, he's so cute. He is. There he goes. Oh, he's so big and fat. Baby puffer. Do, 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 do. Baby puffer do. Got my mullet sliced up over here. Go toss it out so we can get a get Lexi on a shark. Using a little artificial shrimp here, got me a barracuda. I'm not gonna show you what I'm gonna do to them until after I'm done doing it to them, but I'm gonna chop them up and throw them out for some bait. If you ever wanted to know why people are afraid of barracudas, just look at them teeth. No? no? Okay. 
What you got on there, boy? A shark. A shark. Yeah, baby. It's a nice shark, too. Walk up to the front. Yeah, you're good. Horse him back. Nice. Good job, man. Wow, look at that thing. Just don't give him slack. No slack. No slack. If he runs, he runs. He runs, he runs. Yeah. That, my friend, is a five foot shark. We're going to work him right to the shallow right there. See where it's the flat? There's slippery. Try to let this guy go. He's pissed. Got it. Well guys, <clears throat> day two of trying to get Lexi on her first shark, but I don't think the sharks are agreeing with her right now. Uh -uh. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that snook action. Um, it literally caught me off guard because I was not trying to catch snook. But my wrist game, you know, with that little artificial the lure, the flick of the wrist. Was it fun? Yeah, it was fun. We caught one barracuda. A mullet and two snook. So we got barracuda, a mullet, two snook, as you can see in the video. Um, but we're trying to get that elusive shark. We're gonna keep going after the sharks and a lot of other fish because she's just learning how to fish and there's a lot of species that she hasn't even seen before. If you guys really want to see me catch my first shark, make sure you hit that notification button and subscribe. Bye. They say I be swagging this slay in the fashion Feel like King Arthur, I just slay the dragon My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging Slay like a savage from slicking the best